Alright, hello guys, how's it going? In today's video, I'm going to be bringing you a giant tropical update. Mostly, we're going to be talking about 99L, which is about to be a tropical depression. Now, before I get started with this video, though, I would ask that you do subscribe if you do like weather-related content, and also make sure to share this video with your friends, family, and social media. Now, for today's comment of the day, I want to know, this is a really bold question, but do you think that 99L will eventually impact the United States or not? Let me know in the comments down below and give me a reason why, and I'll be picking one of those for tomorrow's video. Now let's get into this video, and as you can see, as we take a look at our two-day graphical tropical weather outlook, let's start with our Gulf Storm, and as you can see, we have a 30% chance of development within the next two days. Now also we have Invest 99L, which I was very boldly talking about yesterday. All of those claims seem to be very, very warranted as everybody's hopped on board as of this morning. Obviously we were the first to hop on board, but really everybody's coming alongside and seeing what we were seeing yesterday. We have a 60% chance of development within the next two days, uh, but really we're gonna become a tropical depression here this afternoon, uh, possibly even become a tropical storm later on today or tonight, possibly tomorrow. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at the five-day graphical tropical weather outlook. And as you can see, that Gulf Storm actually increases in probability. We enter the orange zone with, for both of our storms. First off, 99L remains at a 60% chance of development over the next five days. And then we see that our Gulf Storm becomes about a 40% chance. So we'll be talking about both of these storms throughout this video. What we're going to do is we're going to move on, take a look at some satellite imagery, some model guidance... Uh, things like that, just get a really good idea for how strong both of these storms can develop and where they're going to be going. So we're taking a look at the satellite imagery of 99L, and it has some great spin to it. It looks like a storm that will become a tropical storm uh, within the next 24 hours if this type of intensification continues, which I do expect it to do so. Here's the intensity guidance, and yesterday everybody was like, you are crazy for saying this one could become a hurricane. This one has 0% chance of development. I heard comments like that all day yesterday. It happens every single time, and every single time they are wrong, and what ends up happening is the models kind of hop on board, and as you can see, uh, the outliers there at the bottom have it remaining kind of just a tropical depression or a very, very weak tropical storm, but we see a lot more models hopping on board with this solution that has us at tropical storm status within the next 36 hours and possibly hurricane status within, within the next 100 hours. There is even some, some models there, as you can see, there's two of them that bring us into major hurricane status as this one enters the very favorable waters. Do I think that's going to happen? No. But do I think we will reach tropical storm status, possibly even category one? One status, yes, I'm actually very confident that this one will become a tropical storm at least. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to move on and we're going to take a look at the European models, tropical depression percent chance and tropical storm percent chance, and then we're going to start taking a look at some spaghetti models, see where this one's going to head, and then we're going to unveil kind of a new uh, graphic that we've come up with here for direct weather, and then we're also going to take a look at our graphical forecasts for both of these storms individually, the updated outlooks here from direct weather. All right, now here we are taking a look at that probability of tropical depression according to the European model. And we can see both of our storms on screen here have about a 70 to 80% chance of reaching at least tropical depression status here in the next three days. So from the 21st through the 24th of July here, the Gulf Storm actually has about an 80 to 90% chance of becoming a tropical depression. These both will most likely become a tropical depression at least. The one in the Gulf, we'll have to talk about the intensification forecast, but really... Uh, odds are pretty much 50-50 as far as tropical storm status. Our 99L has about, I would say, an 80% chance of tropical storm status, possibly more. Now, the European model actually disagrees for now. This model does do weird things like this, like I said before. Yesterday, it had about a 10% chance of tropical uh, depression status for 99L, and again, actually, as of right now, we're about to become tropical depression status already. So this model does kind of lag behind a little bit, and is a little late to the party, I guess, as far as calling for certain things, but I'm sure this one will hop on board very, very quickly. All right. Uh, now, what we're going to do is we're going to move on, and what we're going to do is take a look at our spaghetti models. First off, all the individual models, then our Canadian ensemble model, our GFS ensemble model, and then we're going to kind of get into our direct weather forecast for this one, where we have kind of a new graphic to unveil here that I'm very, very excited to show you guys. 
All right, now here we are taking a look at that spaghetti model guidance. And as you can see, uh, just as I kind of expected, we've actually seen a trend towards much more likelihood of it going south of Puerto Rico, south of Dominican Republic and Haiti, though there is a model that has it tracking directly over Dominican Republic and then through the Bahamas. However, I think the chances are higher that we stay underneath of the Dominican Republic, Haiti, Jamaica, areas like that. And really what this means is it's going to interact with more dry air, uh, but also it's going to interact with much warmer waters. And I think it is going to have an easy time developing. A lot of people mentioned the dry air, uh, but really the, the dust that we're seeing that's going to enter the Caribbean is not very dense. And I think this storm could really overcome it. That's not very much so that strong of a factor. A lot of people tried to act like that was much more important than the sea surface temperatures. Uh, but judging by how this one has developed, I can... Uh, I can go ahead and say that the the storm has been winning so far, unlike what most people were thinking as of yesterday, uh, outside of me, of course. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Canadian Ensemble model. This model has a really big tendency to just go all over the place and really just show like a very broad uh, selection of options. And, you know, I don't really like this model because of this reason. I do show it every video, though, for some reason. The GFS Ensemble model is much more consistent and a lot tighter with its forecast here. Uh, though, we do see about 50% of the models show it go north of Dominican Republic and Haiti, and then about 50% go underneath. Uh, so it's really interesting to see this, this solution here, and it's going to be interesting to see if the possibility for it heading north of Dominican Republic and Haiti becomes a more probable uh, solution here. That would be quite interesting and would pose a threat to the East Coast, much like most of the storms so far this year have done. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to move on and take a look at our exciting forecast for both the Gulf Storm and 99L. So first things first here is our satellite imagery for 99L. As you can see, again, very, very nice spin to it, uh, looking like it's very close to tropical storm status, actually. Surprise, it's not a tropical depression status. And I think the only reason we don't have tropical depression status with this one is that we haven't had an update uh, in a little bit for this one. So once we get an update again, I think we're going to be taking a look at tropical depression status as of this afternoon. All right, now let's go ahead and take a look at our new uh, graphic here that we're going to be using throughout our tropical season here and probably more tropical seasons to come in the future. This is going to be our intensity forecast. It's similar to the model guidance for the intensity forecast. Uh, but basically it's just our thoughts and you can see it gets very, very wide as time goes on, obviously, because these storms are very unpredictable with how they're going to interact with the atmosphere, the waters, things like that. Uh, though this is our forecast for 99 L as you can see, uh, if you take the middle of the cone here, you're basically going to get our actual thoughts. Uh, so you can see that on day one, we think basically by about 12 AM tonight, maybe the morning hours tomorrow, it's probable that we will see tropical storm status. By tomorrow, it's much more likely than not that this will be a tropical storm. Uh, and then by day three, uh, there is a very slim chance that we do see this reach tropical or sorry, category one status. Although you can see we only used about five days on this, though it has the potential to be used for up to 10 days, though that would be extremely hard to do. So I decided to just go with five days for this storm. Throughout the five days, there is very slim odds that this one does stay underneath tropical storm status, though I'm extremely doubtful of that. And throughout most of this forecast, it does stay in tropical storm status, though at about day four, you can see we enter the possibility for category one status, even category two status by later in that day. And then eventually we reach the possibility, very slim possibility of category three or four status, where that's the maximum the models are going for the next five days. Though I think about at about day five, we're going to see this one cross to where it's either a strong tropical storm or into category one status, although it could be much weaker as well. Uh, things are looking pretty interesting with this one, and we could see a lot of different solutions play out. Now, here is our cone forecast as far as the track for this one. Again, it's still pretty wide, could go south of, um, of Dominican Republic, but I do see the odds that there is some chance of it going north of those areas as well. So we still have a pretty wide cone for 99L. Now, here's our Gulf Storm, as you can see on satellite, does not look anywhere near as good as 99L, though it is heading into the middle of the Gulf where it is going to have an easier time developing. Though, here's our intensity forecast for the Gulf Storm. Again, this is the one that's in between Cuba and Florida, not the one that we had offshore of Florida. For day one, uh, it's pretty much looking like we're going to stay underneath tropical storm status. Though on day two, there is some odds that we do reach tropical storm status as well as day three, where it becomes almost like a 40% chance, something like that, just under 50% chance, I would say. 
Uh, but also after that point, we do see the chance of this one just completely fizzling out. And then it's going to interact with land at some point on day four, uh, where it is going to eventually fizzle out, obviously, after that point. Uh, so really, the odds are that there is a slim chance of tropical storm status with the Gulf Storm as well, especially with the warm waters, but it doesn't have nearly as good of odds as 99L at development. And here's that cone forecast for this one. Uh, basically, we have a pretty tight cone because it's moving quite quickly, and within four days, it's going to be interacting with either Louisiana, Texas, or possibly even Mexico, though I highly doubt it. Anyway, for today's comment of the day, I asked you guys, what do you think is going to happen with 99L? And Jonathan Chen uh, said, I believe 99L will become a hurricane. Uh, and I quite agree. I think that eventually we will see this one cross into tropical storm status. And then eventually as well, probably category one status. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Again, be sure to share it with your friends, family, and social media. I will see you guys in the next video.